Hey guys, Chaos Fox here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I styled my glimmer rig from the new She-Ra. Um, first of all, I want to apologize because my dog's going to be probably barking through this whole thing since he barks at literally fucking everything. But yeah. <laughs> so first off, you want to pin your base wig to the wig head. Um, I'm using a pink Arta wig that I have on hand. I'm not really sure what style it was because I've had this wig for like... I don't know how many years I'm basically separating out how much pink I want and going across through the whole left and then I'm grabbing my beautiful beautiful seam ripper and I'm seam ripping out the lefts you're gonna be seam ripping for a long time because you have to go all the way down the entire wig except for the top area so yeah seam rip until you want to seam rip no more and make sure not to cut into the actual wig, ca wig cap. You just wanna seam rip out the wefts only. Once you do it, you get the hang of it. It's pretty easy, it's just tedious. Seam rip, seam rip, seam rip. Make sure that you save all your pink wefts too because I didn't have enough at the top, like it wasn't thick enough, and I sewed some of the excess pink into the upper part so that it was thick enough and it looked really nice afterwards. Eventually you're going to be wet, left with something that kind of looks like this and some of the tabs fell off so I'm basically sewing those back on. Next you're going to get your purple wig and you're going to sew all the wefts into it. So I did this on the machine. Here it is. It's all sewn in. And I'm cutting off some of the length because my purple wig was super, super long and her hair is not long like that. I'm just using some crappy scissors, not hair cutting shears because these cut a little bit better. And then you can finally start the styling process. I'm starting off by doing the bangs and clipping everything to the side so that I don't get hairspray and I don't grab other hairs from my one point that I'm doing because I'm going to do one spike at a time basically. As you can see I just clip it with anything that I have. I have these duckbill clips. I highly recommend them. They're awesome. And I'm using my hairspray. It's um... It's actually called Professional Freezing Hairspray. I prefer it a little bit more than the Got To Be on wigs. It works really good on synthetic hair. And I'm basically putting them to a point and then blow drying it. You don't want to use too much heat because you don't want to risk burning the fibers, but just blow dry it gently and then kind of... I guess twist the fibers in the tips of your hand. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it's sort of what I do. It works for me. You'll figure out what works for you, basically. Just keep going. You'll get there eventually. And then I snip off the tips a lot of times because sometimes there's a little bit of extra hair just to make the tip look a little more clean. Finally, we're on to the back. It's looking a lot like her hair now, finally, instead of a just big blob of pink and purple.
At the end, I like to use the got to be glued and put it at the tips and then blow dry it again until it's completely dry. Don't blow dry it at too high of a heat because I notice that it'll flake if you do that. Um, sometimes I'll actually use the got to be and then put a little hairspray again over that because then it dries a little bit harder too. And lastly, we are going to be doing something very special to this wig. <laughs> We're going to be using Glitter Blast at the bottom in the um, purple part. It doesn't show up well on camera, but it looks pretty awesome um, in person. And then I actually went and sealed it so that it doesn't, so that there's not glitter flying everywhere basically. And at the end, you'll be left with this. Let me know if you guys like this, and um, let me know if this helped you, help you style your glimmer wig at all.